Hey, what's up? Sitting in a slightly uncomfortable position so I can actually be in the frame. Let's film this quickly. So today I'm going to be doing the unread books tag, which has been going around lately. And I thought it'd be neat to do it in a way so you could actually see all of my unread books while I'm doing the tag, which is why I am currently kneeling next to my bookshelf like a weirdo. This tag was created by Book Reviewer 21 I believe is the username, and there's only five questions, so let's get started. Number one, how many unread books do you own? I like to keep my unread books separate from my read books, so this is pretty easy to answer. These three are unread, then all the rest of this shelf, then all of this shelf. Then there's the overflow pile that generally is where I am sitting right now. And then there's the stuff that I pulled for this month's TBR. The short answer is 66. Question two, how many books do you own that you have read? I decided to go on Goodreads and do some math rather than like actually physically count them. So according to Goodreads and my math, which are both fallible, I have 178. Number three, do you buy more books than you read? Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I do not have access to a library, so whenever I can find cheap books that I will perhaps want to read, I tend to buy them so I can have them whenever it is that I feel like reading them. So I accumulate a lot of books. Question number four, why do you think you haven't read your unread books yet? Mostly it's just that I obtain books at a higher rate than I can read them. I would say it depends on the book. Like these three right here are uh, Mansfield Park, Emma and Persuasion by Jane Austen, which I will be reading in the coming months as part of the Austin Adventures, so that's why those haven't gotten read yet. Then there's stuff like The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood, which I picked up because I got it for like 17 cents at a book sale, but I haven't read it yet because I haven't read any Margaret Atwood before and I've heard that that's not a very good one to start with. Some of them I haven't gotten to yet because like they're long or they're intimidating or like... In the case of Little Bee or The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde, like, I know they're gonna be awesome, but I also know they're gonna be emotionally devastating, so I just haven't gotten to them yet. And finally, question five, are you going to go on a book buying ban? Ah, uh, sort of. My Emerald books have now reached uh, the highest number that I'm, I'm really, like, comfortable having them at. Like, I have to keep it uh, at or below a certain number, roughly, or else I start to get really overwhelmed by choice. So like I'm not gonna officially go on a book buying ban, but I know that if I buy any more books right now I'm just gonna get anxious. So I'm probably gonna go into avoidance mode right about now where I just do not even go anywhere near places you can purchase books. Okay that's it, that's the tag. My, my legs are falling asleep. I have to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.